all going to an easy piece lesson. So you guys asked me to show you a list of useful adjectives, but the thing is, I didn't show you the grammar behind it and I thought that it would be maybe even more useful to do that first and then in future lessons to show you adjectives list. If you've been watching my lessons, you know by now that nouns in Romanian have a gender and a number. So they can either be masculine, neuter or feminine because there are three genders in Romanian and they can stay in the singular or plural. So the same thing applies to adjectives. Whenever you use an adjective with a noun, the adjective will have the same gender and the same number as the noun. The next important thing you should know about Romanian adjectives is that they can have four forms, two forms, three forms, I cannot count four forms, three forms, two forms or just one form, which means some Romanian adjectives are invariable, so they have the same form for both numbers and all three genders. So what I'm going to do in this lesson is talk about the adjectives that have four forms because these adjectives are most frequent in Romanian. Adjectives that have four forms usually end in a consonant or U in the masculine and neuter singular. First I'm going to talk about the adjectives that end in a consonant. To build a feminine form in the singular, you just add a, okay? To build the masculine plural, you add E. And to build the feminine and neuter plural, you add E. Now let me give you an example so that you understand what I mean. Bun, buna, bun, bune. So you see what happened? You have your basic form, bun, then in a consonant, then you add a in the feminine singular, you add e in the masculine plural, and you add e in the feminine and neuter plural. That's it. Now let me tell you what happens to the other adjectives that end in the masculine and neuter singular in u or u. So what you need to do first when building the other forms is to eliminate that u and then add the normal endings. And I'm gonna give you an example for you to understand this better. Let's take mândru. The feminine form will be mândră. The masculine plural form will be mândri. And the feminine and neuter plural form will be mândre. There are many vowel and consonant alternations or changes happening inside an adjective, but I'm only going to talk about the most frequent ones. And let's start with the consonant alternations. If you don't know what consonant and vowel alternations are, I'm going to link you down below to this Q&A video where I explain this topic. Consonant alternations usually happen in the masculine plural when you add the ending E. So I'm gonna give you some examples. Adevărat, adevărată, adevărați, adevărate, cald, caldă, calzi, calde, divers, diversă, divers, diverse, trist. Triste, triste, triste. Okay, now let's see some vowel alternations. Uh, there are quite many of them, but I'm only going to show you two which are most frequent. Vowel alternations usually occur in case of feminine forms, but this is not a rule, it's more like a tendency. Frumos, frumoasă, frumos, frumoase, încet. Înceată, înceți, încete. There is something I have to specify with regards to adjective usage in Romanian, and that is adjectives are normally used after nouns and not in front of them like you do in English. And now I'm just going to give you some ramble. Ramble, yeah, I've been rambling quite a lot today. I mean, some random examples. O carte interesantă. Cartea interesantă. Un subiect fascinant. Subiectul fascinant. Niște prăjituri delicioase. Prăjiturile delicioase. Niște copii veseli. Copiii veseli. 
Alrighty, this is it for now. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Be happy!